I found out about the Park Slow Food Co-op when I moved to the neighborhood in 2006. I just had a first child and lived around the corner from it. I thought it's great, it's close, I can get organic and local produce and don't have to spend fortune. So I went to the orientation. When they explained that I had to walk 2 hours and 45 minutes every 4 weeks, the first question I had was, could I hire someone else to walk for me? Obviously, I had no understanding of what the co-op meant. Our, our intuition was that the way you own this place is from your labor. It's sweat equity, not dollar equity, but your work, you know, the work. That's how you came to really own it, to feel it. How are you going to feel like an owner and feel connected was by working with other people. And hopefully it will get into your brain and get into your heart that this is yours. The co-op, I think, opened in 1973, mm -hmm. along with many other grassroots organizations, because it was right after the 60s, right? Mm -hmm. See, because these are, these are people who thought there was something wrong with a lot. We thought there was something wrong with the United States foreign policy. We thought there was something wrong with the um, way black people were treated, the way women were treated, the way gay people were treated. So we thought there was something wrong. We also were questioning the food. And we were reading the ingredients, and they had all these a simple food that should have been a simple food had 15 ingredients. We wanted to eat healthy food. We wanted to have good diets. And this was in the ground a couple of days ago. It's very fresh. Small, local, family farms are our focus. We probably buy from somewhere between 50 and 100 farms a week. People hand, handing down seeds from generation to generation and sharing seeds among friends preserve biodiversity, mm -hmm. keeps many other species alive. The co-op is kind of an extremely diverse community. We have a mission at the co-op and that is to be cooperative mm -hmm. and to be mm -hmm. helpful and to support one another mm -hmm. uh, and treat each other with respect. Mm -hmm. So if you feel that that's been violated, that would be uncooperative. We felt that we needed to also be more proactive okay. in terms of trying to find ways to diffuse misunderstandings, you know, racial disharmony, mm -hmm. uh, and so on. Racism, sexism, homophobia, all those isms that come along and the way people mistreat each other, ageism, we try to put those aside. We don't succeed. So they come into the co-op also. But we tr unlike the store in the corner, we try to address it. How do you like working at the co-op? Um, for most people, I think it's like a love-hate thing. Uh, it's okay so long as it fits into your routine, and then it, when it doesn't, it's kind of a disaster. It was very hard for me. I right, working on my only day off that I had a Sunday morning, but I did enjoy having those, you know, day old chocolate croissant after my shift. We knew that Americans were supposed to go out and have individual success. You know, we, we understood that. But we thought that it was important to have community success. And we looked at the word cooperation and said, well, cooperation means working together. And then it turned out, then when we started the co-op, that the better we could do the cooperation part, the better we could have the food be more affordable. So it really grew out of our personal desire to eat differently and a political desire to see the world produce food differently so and to create community around those things after spending five years at the co-op i began to feel more and more drawn to this community i'm fascinated with our commitment to locality ways we deal with people with different needs and a kind of love-hate relationship with our labor